Hey guys, welcome back. It's me Rajan Sharma and you know guys in this video we are going to learn about how to upload images in Firebase storage using React.js. Okay guys, so today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how can we perform uploading operations for images. Okay guys, so you know in our previous tutorials we have learned about React.js, installation of Visual Studio Code, Node.js, inserting data, fictional compo functional components, class components, JSX, prop and uh, so many things about react.js and you can say a good and a simple start to that technology so now uh, as we go uh, as we have more tutorials so we are going to learn so many things so in this tutorial guys we are going to simply focus on uploading images and that is going to be very easy you know because you don't have to worry about the import to uh, path and all the things because everything is going to be very very easy because you know it's my video and whenever i upload something it means that it is easy and uh, yeah so without wasting time Let's start. So guys, as you can see that this is our previous project that uh, we are working with inserting data. Okay guys, and we have connected it already with our uh, Firebase database and here you can see the file contact.js and here we have the firebase.js. Okay guys, so guys if you have not seen the previous tutorial, so its link is visible on the i button. You can click on it and simply watch it and I will also provide the link in the description box. So you can go and watch those videos too. So you will understand exactly what we are doing in this playlist from the scratch until now. So uh, after that guys here now we will perform the image uploading operation in the previous tutorials we have learned how to insert data in Firebase real-time database from react.js fine. So first of all here what we are going to do is here you can see that we have to for, a, for using any service or package of any backend or sources we just have to import the, its packages okay. So guys uh, now uh, even uh, now after using database we are going to use storage for uh, uploading data. So first of all what you have to do is simply you have to open your firebase storage here you can see that this is our project react with firebase okay guys and then after that here you will see your dashboard like that so you have to click on the button get started then select this test mode because production mode will not make us able to insert any kind of images or files so you just have to make it test mode and uh, then you have to click on the done okay guys and then you have to wait until it's done so after that guys uh, what we will do we will simply change its rules because uh, if you will not change the rules you will not be able to insert any images in the bucket okay so that is the reason in behind this because you know now we are just learning the react.js so it is just for testing purpose but when you will make a real-time website or you can say live website so you just have to make those rules authenticated okay and i will also show you in upcoming tutorials how to perform authenticated authentication system with react.js and firebase like email auth google auth and all the systems all the functionalities we're gonna learn but just wait for all of them we will learn step by step okay and uh, easily and slowly so you will understand all the detailed concepts so guys now after that you have to open this uh, okay and rules so here exactly what it is saying that uh, you are allowed to insert data for 30 days okay so you can also uh, leave it like that because it will allow you for inserting data for 30 days okay after 30 days you will not be able to insert data so uh, we just uh, can leave it like that okay so it will also work here you can see that uh, today is uh, 12th july so it is saying that 11th july 8th month after that date i will not be able to insert any data and i will not be able to get any data so for now you can leave it okay you can also make it true but it's fine now for now it's okay so guys uh, now here you can see that we have created a database storage so here you have to simply click on the import okay and uh, then simply you have to write colon firebase then slash then again you have to write compat then slash and then storage okay guys so you have to import storage here and then after that you have to do the same thing here like uh, export constant and that's going to be storage okay equals to firebase dot dot storage bracket colon okay then you have to save this firebase.js file okay guys so now you have uh, followed the steps then you have to not make any other changes okay just two lines export constant storage firebase dot storage and import firebase compact storage now after that you have to open this app.js okay guys and here you can see that we have this function app so in inside this function app we are going to create like version one constant so first of all by default what you have to do is uh, let me remove this logo import svg okay guys and uh, then before that here you have to write simply write import okay and then we will 
import the brackets and use state okay and now from react so simply from react okay sorry 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 from react so uh, guys make sure these imports are correct otherwise it might create problem in future for you so after that guys here we have this constant okay and then use array simply then image and it is going to be set image okay guys and uh, then here you have to write equals to then use state we will make it null by default as we always do okay guys now we have this so by default null and uh, now after that you can have to create a, another function like uh, constant and that is going to be upload so we can simply understand by its name that it is for uploading the image now we are using uh, arrow function you know guys if you don't know about it you have to see my previous tutorials because there i'm showing you what is a functional component what is a, of uh, you know a normal components so you will understand everything just watch the tutorials from the beginning and uh, if it is null so here we are simply doing the validation that if image is null so we will simply return okay and then semicolon and uh, if it is not null so we will again create a simply you know image reference one more variable that is going to be storage dot reference okay then inside it you have to write the single quotation and then here you have to write image we will create exactly we are creating a path here okay inside that database so with that help we can create a particular folder for every file that you upload so now after that inside this dollar sign and then this curly braces you have to write the image and dot name okay and then dot put and then here you have to put that file sorry use like that image and then dot on okay and then guys here you have to use the brackets again and inside it you have to use double quotation and then simply write, write state underscore changed then alert okay and uh, now we are going to set a message that to uh, success okay and then again alert semicolon okay guys so now almost uh, you can see that make sure this reference is correct reference single quotation slash images you can write to uh, images then slash then dollar okay and then opening braces and then this image okay guys and then you have to write the name and then after that to uh, simple bracing ending braces okay and uh, for more i can simply zoom it okay so so let me zoom it so i hope guys now it is more easily visible to you all so first of all you have to import this storage or even if you will not import you will simply write lines so you will simply able to see it here okay guys and uh, now here on state changed okay then success alert and uh, now after that guys here you have to simply do is image ref okay and then simply you have to call that function here so now after that guys we have to write one more line inside this dip after this contact is uh, simply you have to use a br tag okay and then close it and uh, now after that to the R tag we are going to use a very basic uh, input so simply write input type is of course going to be file type file and then on change type uh, input type is file that's correct so yeah on change first of all let me finish it so now it will predict correctly yeah so on change equals to and here you have to create a event so braces the bracket sorry then e for event then arrow then equals to you have to use again braces and inside it you have to write set
what is happening to the set image and uh, then here inside it you have to again use brackets then you have to write e dot target so we just uh, simply taking the value okay then files and here you have to pass the value zero because you know basically it's an array so you can upload as many files as you want but for now we are only going to upload a single image that's why you have to put a value of zero okay guys and then here you have to simply use a button in order to save the value so today bracket and uh, input to uh, i think we have closed the input okay so now the input part is done so here you can simply call for the button okay so now inside this button on click we have so when the user will click on the button on click so we will simply call the method image sorry upload that we created here above so for now here you have to write is uh, upload okay guys and then when i will save the file so after that i will just simply make the text zoo small so you can see the codes and uh, quite easily so guys here we have uh, you can see first of all i'm just creating a constant for image and i'm setting it user state default i mean null and then here we have created the upload function and site first we have, first of all we are validating and then guys here you can see that image reference for uploading and here we are calling that reference okay guys and uh, then here you can see the so here for so you can see that uh, our codes are almost complete so you can see so guys now it's time to run the application so you can see that it, here it is showing a message compiled successfully it means that our codes are absolutely correct so now it's time to run the application so for running it what exactly here you have to do is uh, i have to open the command shell and here you can see that we are inside this folder correct uh, react tutorial so here you have to simply write cd then hello world our project name okay hello dash world make sure the name is correct otherwise it will create problem hello dash world enter and now you can simply write npm start and you have to wait for a few seconds and then it will show in your browser so as you can see guys that your uh, screen is looking like that and your output is going to be something like that so you can see that this submit part is previous tutorials okay so you can you are able to insert data and in this video you have to click on this button choose file and then i will select this notes app using okay and here you can see its name notes app dot firebase dot png and i'm going to upload it and it you can see that here we have a message success so when you click on the button okay and you will open your firebase storage so click on it and go on this files and uh, here you can see that we have a folder of name images inside it we have its name dollar image name dot so here uh, exactly it is not getting the name of uh, the file it is simply saying that to uh, image yeah so here we can do is uh, i can simply remove it from here and uh, then it may not create problem so So guys, you can see that I have uh, just made a change and let's see what our output going to be this time. So I'm going to upload another image and do uh, react seven, then I'm going to upload it and then okay. So just wait for some seconds and uh, refresh this page. So guys, now you can see that it is uploaded with its original name react seven. Okay. 
here you can see sorry so guys if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so you will never miss any update thank you for watching